Today we are going to be using um, a whole line from NYX. So I'm actually pretty excited about this, but I feel like I got almost too excited. Like I didn't realize until I got back home um, that I had like this, they call it an illuminator, but I guess it might be kind of a blush. And then I also grabbed a blush stick. So I'm like, okay, now I don't know which one I really want to use yet because I want to be able to try them both. And then I got another illuminator, but then I wasn't paying attention. And of course, this you're going to see this, it's broken. I know I'm very sad about it. We blame children. But um, it's like their highlight and contour kit. So I there's one in here that's completely shattered that I know I won't be able to save. Um, it's up here, but I know I can use the other one, so that's okay. I just wanted to just kind of see what it was about. It was pretty cool that... I don't know. It's cool to me that they have, like, a highlight contour kit, but then I'm like, why so many colors? Like, nobody needs this many colors of highlight and contour, do they? I don't know. Maybe it's just because I don't highlight and contour, like, super, that I feel like I really don't need that many colors. But I got it nonetheless, so I might as well try it. So, anyways, yes. I went a little overboard and crazy, but I am going to be, I know I said this the last time I was doing a get ready with me too, I'm going to be swimming. So I didn't want to do something, anything too crazy. Um, I could not find lashes. I guess NYX maybe doesn't make lashes. If you know otherwise, let me know in the comments because I'm not really quite sure. But um, I decided to get, if I can get this open, man, let me tell you, if I have to choose between a drugstore brand or a high-end brand like packaging, like, drugstore brand packaging, like, they make this shit, like, you cannot get it open to save your life. <laughs> like, it is crazy. Okay, I got it. So, I got the, um, it's called the Soft and Bossy, Soft and, Soft and Rosy eyeshadow pigment palette. So, it's just one of their, like, smaller palettes, not one of their huge palettes. I really, really like the colors in here, so I was like, mm, might as well try it. And since I'm going to be swimming... Yeah, this I probably won't use um, because I just don't like those kind of brushes. Maybe like for the inner corner. But um, I figured I'm going to go swimming so I might as well use something that's like not too much. But now actually that I'm looking like this, you could totally make a smoky look out of it. I'll save that for a different day. So um, let me get some brushes because clearly I'm not prepared. And let's just go in and start. So let's just use... Mm, I kind of... I kind of was thinking I wanted to go like more matte today, but I really like the shimmer too. So maybe actually I'll use that to kind of blend out. Let's do this color and see how dark that is. Hopefully it's not too much. I always do this. I'm like, oh, I don't want too much makeup today because I'm not doing anything special. And then I leave with a smoked out eye. It looks like I should be going on like some night date. This is, oh, this is really pretty. Wow. This blends very nicely. Impressive. I might actually even have to do another another get ready with me using the other colors just because. That blends super easy. Did you see how easy that went on? That was really nice. That was this color right here. There's no name, but that was the color. Um, I do still want a little shimmer, so let's go ahead and grab this and just see what it looks like oh god these colors are so pretty <laughs> wow I am super impressed like with how soft they feel on my eyes I almost feel like I need I almost feel like I need to do that highlight up top though because I brought too much color I'll probably go back up there again And just because these colors look so pretty right now, I gotta do a darker one now. I was gonna try to keep it light, but I don't want to. Hmm. So now it's like this or this. But I feel like this might be a little too much, so maybe we'll just stick with this. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it went on so easy. Oh no. Oh wow. Wow. I'm really impressed you guys this is probably my favorite drugstore palette I've tried so far 
Ooh, that was, th this is like way pigmented. Like I'm barely dabbing. Like I gotta, I gotta blend this a little bit. Hold on, let's use this transition color again. Actually, maybe the sparkle color. Cause it's so pigmented, it's almost too pigmented. Well, not too, that sounds bad. It's not too pigmented. It's really, really good. <laughs> it's really good, you guys. I'm super impressed. This is my favorite drugstore palette. Wow. That is very impressive. That went on so nice and easy. Let's see, actually. I wanna see this dark color now, so I'm just gonna use like an angled brush and kind of use it as like a smoky line on top. I have not used this brush at all, so I don't even know how this brush will look. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Wow. I, I like it. I mean, it's not like wet and it's not, you know, a seasoned angle brush. But really, this shadow, like, is really nice. really nice wow I'm impressed that didn't take me long okay I will totally I think I'll probably end up doing a darker look with this same palette just to see but I am super impressed with this if you have not tried NYX you have to get one of these palettes I don't know you could try a different color but this one that one is good I'm um very 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 impressed <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna try is gonna be the super, the next super skinny eye marker. And you know how I love me my eyeliner markers. So, um, I was looking at just regular eyeliners and I was like, mmm, let's not. Let's not. Let's just do a marker and just see. You can't go wrong with an eye marker. So, um, actually the pen itself is not super, super skinny, but look at that point that's a pretty skinny point and it's kind of short so let's just see how easy this goes on I'm not doing a thick thick line so this is gonna be perfect oh yeah this goes on nice it's so hard for me to judge these markers like right away because I feel like really the judgment comes in how quickly it's gonna dry out you know if I go to use this next week and it's already dry I don't like it. Like, I like my markers now to last me at least a month. Although, I I saw this huge hack. Wait for it, guys. I saw this hack on, I think I saw it on Facebook, a little video, where this chick took the pen out, pulled that part out, and flipped it over, and it was back good again. Like, the underneath part was still wet. So I actually am going to try that on one of my dry ones. Because what a great idea if you could literally make it last twice as long by just flipping it over. If any of you have if any of you have tried that, let me know. Let me know if it really worked. Or if it was just one of those stupid... Sometimes I see people make those videos and I'm like, that doesn't work. I've tried it. Or what was that one that I did with the eyelashes? I should do that one again with a different pair because I don't feel like that really gave my eyelashes a 3d you know faux um, what's the name of those one <laughs> why can't I remember <laughs> why can't I remember mink oh I don't think it really gave me that 3d faux mink eyelash look like it was supposed to I wasn't impressed with that so but maybe I need to use like a different pair of lashes to do that if you don't know what I'm talking about this there was this video hack and they were using like a brush like this and then they were taking let me just hold up my old pair of eyelashes that I've been reusing right now but they were taking them but they were taking the eyelash while it was actually sitting in the before you even take it off let me get this thing okay so the eyelash was like this but it was actually stuck on because you haven't even peeled it off okay and they were rubbing this back and forth hard pretty hard and what it's supposed to do is supposed to give you that 3D, um, like, faux mink look. Well, let's just say the lashes that I used to do that, it did not work. It, 
I mean, it was cute. Like, it wasn't terrible, but it did not, it did not work. Not how I thought it would. So, um, I wasn't very happy with that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do a white eyeliner underneath. I know, I only did this one time before, but I really actually like the look, and I had a lot of compliments on my makeup, and I swear to you, I feel like I had compliments on my makeup because my my liner was white, and it was, like, different because everybody's so... I mean, I used to wear white eyeliner under my eyes all the time when I was younger, and then, I don't know, for some reason I got away from it and just started putting dark, and so now I'm like, hmm, let's switch it up because I feel like... People aren't used to seeing that. God, these packaging. Like, why? why? Why do you need to package that much? Why do you need to make it so difficult for me to open up an eyeliner? Jesus. This is, this is going to be a big mess. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll clean that up afterwards. It's sticking to me. Get it off! Get it off! I don't like when stuff sticks to me like that. Okay. I wish I could play background music. It's so quiet sometimes. <laughs> All right, so this is the professional makeup pencil white eye pencil. So, and it looks pretty pencil-y. Like it doesn't look like it's gonna be, oh, it is pretty soft. It's pretty good. It looked like it was not gonna be like that. Like it was gonna be a little dry. So it goes on nice. So for me, We'll see how this lives up to the other white eyeliner pencil I got because I believe the other one was waterproof and it stayed on for a long time. I cannot for the life of me do this without. I know I'm not supposed to do this, but. The other one stayed on really long and I have watery eyes, so I was impressed. But I think that that was like a waterproof crayon, a waterproof eye crayon or something. So we'll see if this one does the same okay so I got the the NYX Zazazu volume and length mascara and I'm kind of on um what would be the word on a search on a I'm on the hunt that's a good word <laughs> I am on the hunt I know you guys I'm not a mascara person because I usually wear falsies but lately my lashes have gotten so much longer than they ever used to be. Um, and when I curl them up, I actually can get like a nice lash look. So when I've been going to just go to my parents, I know I'm breaking out really bad, just ignore that. But when I'm going to my parents to like go swimming or if I'm just gonna go to like the lake or whatever, if, like now that it's summertime, I'm like, it would be so nice to not even have to worry about false lashes especially if I don't have my because normally I wouldn't even wear my false lashes I would wear well these I guess are false lashes but I would wear flares or singles um but if I'm on that in-between time where I'm just taking a break and I don't want to have them on or whatever I would just like to be able to use some mascara like some girls do so I'm on the hunt for a mascara that like really adds length like that isn't just playing me so this one says volume and length. We will see. It's the only thing I don't like. I hate when mascaras are this fat. I don't know why, but like the it bothers me when the bottle is like big like this. One, I only have so much room in my little drawer. Oh, this has like fibers on it. Is this supposed to have fibers on it? I'm a little worried. Oh my God. Can you see that? Can, can you guys see that or is it too fuzzy? It literally has like little, now I'm scared. Does it say on here it's supposed to have fibers? Okay, here we go. This is a pretty big wand too. Let's see what it does. It does, it has little fibers. But I can already tell you, like, there's not enough product coming off on my eye. Not on my eye, but, you know, my eyelash. Like, if I have to go over it that many times, that's disappointing. Especially if there's little fibers. But I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to do it, take a break, let it dry, and then do it again. I remember when I was in high school doing that. 
Like you put your mascara on, you wait for it to dry, and then you do another coat, and another coat, and another coat, and every time you do another coat, it gets longer and thicker. And then be careful, because at some point, it's too long and too thick. Let's do the underneath. Yeah, this is definitely not length and volume for me. Am I the only one that kind of likes clumpy mascara? Like, am I the only one that, like, not, like, I don't want it clumpy on my eye, but, like, when I pull it out of the bottle, I don't mind it kind of, like, you can tell, like, that there's product holding it in. Like, actually, I like clumpy products so much that I have actually left the cap off my mascara before to have it dry a little bit. You know, not for, not all day or anything, but you know, for a couple hours. Left the cap off of it to get it to dry out just a little bit, so it's just a little bit like thicker. I'm probably the only one. <laughs> I know that's super unsanitary. The things that we do for beauty that are completely unsanitary and probably should not be doing, but I can't help it. Okay guys, this is not working for me. I'm I'm not impressed with this, so I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. I promise I'm putting the cap back on. I'm gonna set it over here. And I'm probably gonna come back to that. So the next thing that I got is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. Um I've been wanting to try some matte ones, even though I'm not really a matte foundation person. We'll see how this does, because I'm going to be swimming and stuff like that. So, no, I actually, I'm also on the hunt, honestly, for like, I've never been the type of person to want this, but is it a BB? I don't know much about the BB and CC creams, but is it the BB cream that's supposed to, like, not really give you, like, coverage, but just kind of even out your skin tone if you maybe have, like, some redness or anything? Ooh. Oh, that looks like so orangey, but not orangey on the camera. We'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm like on the hunt for something that's not really like a full coverage, like a foundation, but something that if I am going to go swimming or whatever, I don't feel like I, my face is completely caked up. Um, but I also, like I'm not leaving my house without something on my face because I do have redness and stuff like that that I just but I don't want it to cover like my freckles necessary necessarily necessarily there we go <laughs> is there even such a thing am I is this wishful thinking that I can want something that doesn't cover my freckles completely but will even out my redness if you guys know of something tell me because I'm gonna go get it I want to try it but I just don't even know where to start because I feel like I feel like I don't know where to start. I feel like I don't know what to, there's so many. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to try those. Um, I've heard some really good things about the, I think the Korean beauty products, I think they make a BB cream. But I still don't know what product line or anything. So I don't know. We'll see who's in here. Somebody's trying to sneak in the room while I'm doing this. Get ready with me. Okay. Okay, so this foundation. Do you see that line? Do you see how kind of cakey that looks? I don't like this. I don't. I definitely don't like this. This is not. Um, this is not my favorite. I feel like it's supposed to cover, but it's not really covering. And it, but it still has that cakey look like it should be covering, but it's not. Does that make sense? The color actually matches pretty good. I am impressed with that. What color was this? What color did I pick out? Since you literally can't look at the colors beforehand, that drives me crazy. It's nude. The color nude, so 0 02. It matches. It'll do for now. Let's go ahead, and while that's kind of set, whoa, what just happened? 
okay, so I just went to kind of rip the plastic off, pulled the cap off, so now I can pull, I don't even have to take this plastic off. I'm going to anyways, but. So, this is the NYX eyebrow pencil, and they had a bunch of eyebrow pencils, you guys. Like, this was not the only one. I was trying to look for one that was like a little bigger, because I really don't like those thin ones. They annoy me. I really like the angled ones, but this one is um, like thicker but and skinny. So can you see that? What's in my eye? I think I have a fiber in my eye. <laughs> this one's thicker and skinny, but it's still not like the other angled ones, so we'll see. And then this is kind of cool. It's a different kind of brush. So most of the time when I use those brushes on the other side, it just wipes my eyebrow off. I legit think I have a, a freaking eyelash fiber in my eye. Oh my god, if that's the case, I'm going to never use that mascara again. You guys, this eyeshadow though. Very impressive. <laughs> Very impressive. Okay, this was in the color dark brown. But it does not look dark brown. Like my version of dark brown. Oh my god, it almost has a red tone to it. Oh god. Everybody at my parents' house are going to be like... This foundation is terrible, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I might have to wipe it off. I don't even know if I can leave the house like this. It is so cakey looking. It is worse now that I can see it. Oh, no. And this eyebrow pencil, I think I have to give to my... I think I need to give this to my redheaded sister. Do you see that? What is that? This is supposed to be dark brown. This is like mahogany like what oh i will finish it out for you guys but i'm not gonna lie i'm probably off camera i'm probably gonna use my wet and wild one i am like what color is this wet and wild okay this wet and wild is a medium brown it's not even a dark brown you know what I'm doing it on this other eye just because I want to I want you guys to see the difference in color right now the, I mean I don't I just can't this is a medium brown wait till you see it like I'm really actually upset right now Just so you can like really get an idea. Quickly. Do you see that? Look at the difference. This is so red. I hope you guys can like tell on camera how red that is. Like who's going to be so mad at me if I just wipe this off and use Wet n Wild? You guys won't be mad, right? You guys love me. You understand. This is bad. Like, I can't leave the house like this. I'm literally going to give this pencil to my sister. Because. No. Just no. That's so bad. Why is that so red? I feel like they packaged it wrong. And this foundation. Oh my god, I cannot. The eyeshadow is so good though. The eyeshadow is so good. It looks so pretty. It still has like a <laughs> it still has a red tone to it, but I don't even <laughs> I don't even know how to like fix that because I tried wiping it off. Maybe if I put a little red over here, it'll just kind of yeah. I don't know. I'm like not happy right now. <laughs> Why did it do that? And all I see is this cakey foundation on me. Okay. Whatever. This is as good as it gets. Let's just see what this does. Just because I want to know. This is not like the typical. Okay. So it seems like it just kind of forms it. It actually doesn't really like take anything off necessarily. So that's a good thing because every time I use those things they literally take the eyebrows off after I just put them on they're not it's not good 
I'm not impressed with this at all. I'm really upset. Okay, I'm going to real quick and hope I don't get any more fibers in, but let's just real quick do another coat. Because I feel like it, I mean, it definitely elongated my eyelashes. I will probably actually, once this dries, take the eyelash curler again. I think I'm going to perm my eyelashes. Because I just have naturally very straight eyelashes. And I have to curl them and curl them. And then I feel like throughout the day they just drop anyways. So I think I'm going to get have an eyelash perm done. And that might like fix the situation. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's do it. Let's open up this contour kit. Let's not mess around anymore. It, it's so broken. Okay. I don't know if, you, if I'm even going to be able to... There's going to be stuff everywhere. It's going to be all over me. Okay. Let me see if actually I could just at least wipe off the outside part. Before I even get started. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad that color whatever that color was that broke though was probably a very pretty color it probably would have been my go-to highlight I think it was ice queen yep that describes my go-to highlight perfectly <laughs> okay so mm, oh this is worse than I thought it would be you guys do you see this <laughs> this is why this is why you keep children away from your makeup. I'm very disappointed. Have children, they said. It will be fun, they said. Okay, I'm gonna dump this into a bag and hope nothing else comes out. That color was gonna be a pretty color too. I can literally see it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll clean this up more later. I'm sorry, I should have probably done this off camera. This, this is, I actually didn't think it was like that bad when I was looking at it. I'm like, oh, but it's pretty bad. But now that I just opened it and wiped it off, okay, that's better. So yeah, as you could tell, that was probably a super pretty color. Actually, look at that. That was probably a, a really, really, really pretty color. So the contour it looks like, I mean, you know the drill. Like, you can totally use contour as eyeshadow even if it's too dark or too light of a color for you I know sometimes these contour kits are for like some girls do the uh, what's it called where you contour and then you bake underneath it with a line I wonder if any of this can be used for that I don't know I don't do all that I'm too old to be baking like I you already see my lines I don't want to see my lines any more than that so I'm not doing that much on my face. I'm not trying to show that much on my face. <laughs> so I think for contour, I'm gonna start with this one, even though this one's pretty light to just see what it looks like. And if it's not dark enough, then I'll go to that one. But I'm afraid I already have tried a couple things I don't love. Like that actually is a really nice, like, yeah, I, I'm glad I didn't do the darker one. Because that shows up quite a bit. Look at that. You could definitely do some contour with that. Wow. Wow. All right. Maybe I won't wipe off my makeup. No, but really, my lazy ass is not wiping it off. Everybody at my everybody at my parents' house will be like, you did a video, didn't you? I'll be like, yes, I did. Check it out. Okay, my handy dandy little brush. Find that in. That actually looks really good. I like it. Now, here's the thing about these highlight and contour kits. I'll never bring this anywhere with me. Because it's too big. Like, I like just a little highlight and contour, like two colors or one color of each one, little round pan, 
Like, I'm not bringing a huge, or what's the one I got in my BoxyCharm? That one was four colors, but it was small. It was like that big. It was perfect. I just, like, why am I going to carry that with me anywhere? So I'll have it here, and it's something that I can use here, but I, for like the amount of money it is for this whole thing, personally, I'm just not going to use it now. I would bring this to the salon because I do makeup at the salon and this would actually be a super good highlight contour kit to keep at the salon because it has a lot of different colors. Does it have every color? No, but I mean these days you're, you'd, it'd be really sad if you did have every color. Like there'd be no way. Like it would be amazing, but not sad. It would be amazing if you had every color, but nobody does. It's sad because you can't find something with every color. So unless you have a huge, huge, huge makeup kit. So I got, I bought, not I got, I bought um, a blush. Well, okay, this is weird because I didn't, I guess I wasn't paying attention. And I don't want to use, like the one highlight that came out of here was the one shimmery one. These other ones don't even look shimmery. So I think I'm going to actually use the illuminator. But I'm, why is this not opening? Oh my goodness. Why does this do this to me every time? I know they don't want people to steal stuff, but like if you're gonna steal something, you're taking the whole box anyways. Why do you have to make it so difficult to get into the box? All right, let me open both these illuminators because I just need to see. I, I Obviously I wasn't paying attention because I tried to just get one thing from like if I'm doing a full face of something and I feel like I just went crazy. I feel like I got everything. So this one is chaotic, and that to me does look more like a blush, right? I guess it's, I guess in the box it looked more like a blush, but that's a pretty, oh. I'd call that a blush, like a highlighting blush. That's really pretty though, not gonna lie. So I guess it's like an, a mix if you didn't wanna put both on. Okay, and this one is narcissistic. I like that it's kind of it looks like it it almost looks like it would have a yellowy undertone to it but it's actually it's actually like a like a rose gold it's really pretty let's see that one can you see it or is it so bright do you see that so oh that one that one's really pretty I'm gonna use that one today I'll save this one for a different day but I'm gonna use that one so since that's not actually a blush I can, I'm afraid to, but I can use this blush stick, you guys. I don't think I've ever used a blush stick. So this is called T-Rose, and it's a blush stick. And I'm, I'm scared because I'm, I'm scared. Okay, hold on. Let me just see how much this, oh my God, this comes out a lot. Oh, okay. So how do you do this? Do you dab it? Oh, this one has a mirror. Oh, that that's not a mirror. What is that? That's weird. Okay, let me move this contour kit out of my way. <gasps> okay. Oh, it's so much. Okay, we don't want to wipe. We don't want to wipe. We want to dab. What the heck? Why do people use these? Someone tell me the benefit of this because I feel like I'm sticking lipstick on my face right now. This does not seem beneficial. Oh, this might be the one and only time I use this. It's very pretty. Like the color is very pretty, but I feel the greasiness of it on my face. But it's a super pretty color. Ooh, there's like way more on that side. I don't even know if I want to put that brush on there to blend because it's like so, I don't know you guys. If any of you use, if any of you use cream, cream blush like this, like blush stick, please tell me why you use it. I'm very curious because I'm, I'm not impressed with that. I don't, I know this is something new. It's pretty, it's a pretty color. I just don't like that. I don't like, uh, I don't like change, and that is a lot of change for me in one day. 
this is a lot of change for me. <laughs> okay, let's do this color highlight because this color looks so pretty. Oh my god, it has like gold flecks in it. Oh, this is so pretty. <gasps> let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Do you see that? I like barely touched it. Wow. Okay, if I have to choose my two favorite items, I haven't even put lipstick on yet, but I am definitely going to say their eyeshadow palette and this highlight. Girl, do you see that highlight? I barely touched. This is my new fit. I'm not going to lie, I think I might like this more than my Wet n Wild highlighter that I've been using. That's really pretty. And NYX isn't even that expensive. Okay, all right, so the next thing that I did, ooh, ooh, I got this Dewy Finish setting spray. Let's put this on before I even do my lipstick. Um, you know, it's weird to me because I have so many setting sprays. I really couldn't tell you which one I like better. It's really probably honestly gonna be based off, I'd have to spray them all at once and be like, okay, based off smell. Because I don't know, like I'm looking at them right now. I don't really know what could be different with setting sprays besides like some ingredients that like smell different or whatever and I really don't know if the setting spray does what it says it does anyways <laughs> sometimes I feel like it's a gimmick oh maybe I should spray this okay oh that smells like like wine or something I don't like the smell of that it does smell, or it does feel dewy. It might not be bad for my foundation that's kind of like dry and patchy. Maybe it'll kind of help it, you know, form together. Okay, so I did not know this, but NYX has a mood lip gloss. And then they have this soft matte lip cream. So I don't really know if the mood lip gloss will do. Actually, let's just see what color it turns on me anyways right now. I, I really do think I have fibers in my eyes, you guys. I don't even know if I could give that mascara to somebody else in good conscience because I'm not that's not good I hope that mascara is supposed to have fibers and it's just not like a bad mascara or something that would be really terrible okay let's let's see what color cuz look it comes out clear no oh, kind of all right, let's see what color this took. Whoa, wow, that's turning fast. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Please don't let it get any darker. Okay, while that's turning, oh my God, there are fibers or something. I'm just gonna... Oh. not impressed with this mascara I'm so happy about the eyeshadow but I can feel that there's like fibers that literally dropped into my eyes I do not like that you know what this reminds me of everybody's gonna laugh but if you've ever tried Unique's mascara their actual mascara I, I actually really like the actual mascara part of it but the fiber stick that comes in it beforehand, I freaking hate it. Like, I got it um, before. And, sorry, I'm like trying to concentrate a little bit. I bought it before. Well, I didn't buy it. It was gifted to me. And, um, and I like the mascara portion, but I always would throw away the fibers. Because, I don't, because they literally, throughout the day, they'd start falling on your face. That, that's what this feels like, except they're falling in my eyeballs. But... I mean the mascara is not terrible I just would if it didn't have the fibers on it, it'd be awesome wouldn't be my favorite but it would be awesome but it is just I can't oh god I can literally feel them but I just curled up my eyelashes and I'll make do today this mood lip gloss is seriously probably one of my favorite mood lip glosses and maybe it's just my mood I'm in because there's a tint to it but it's the perfect tint to match my eyeshadow like it's not too dark have, I swear to you, every other time I put on some sort of mood lipstick, it's turned like a bright pink color. Like every single one. It doesn't even matter. Every one, it's turned a bright pink color. And then I'm 
like if I want to wear bright pink I'll put a bright pink lipstick on but I don't want every single mood lip gloss I put on to be like that this is the type of lip gloss that I could literally put another lip lipstick on and then still put this lip gloss over and not worry about it changing the look of my lipstick too much so I really like that I'm gonna save the NYX matte lip cream I've already tried them before anyways because have I done a fake first row on these I think I have done a fake first row on these so I've already tried them so I'm not really too worried about this one so I will save it I actually honestly probably won't even open it I don't know I might save it for like a future giveaway or whatever I usually like to give away my own products for giveaways but maybe I'll start collecting some stuff that I just have extras of that I'm not using and incorporate those too so I hope you guys enjoyed this this was my full face of NYX I don't think I'm missing anything you know uh, overall to be perfectly honest with you like if I had to choose my favorite products I'm definitely gonna choose the the soft and um, bossy soft and rosy palette I don't know about the other colors necessarily but this these went on like a dream and I want to say this palette was only like six bucks or something like that so I feel like you're probably not gonna get a ton of looks out of it but their eyeshadow quality really good I I have to say for a drugstore brand this is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette I've tried I'm literally gonna keep it out to the side normally I stick my drugstore palettes like underneath in my drawer like eh, I'll get to them at some point when I do like a re you know let's try something again but I really like this one I'm I'm gonna keep this out so um, that's gonna be my favorite and then of course the illuminator that they have oh, so pretty like I barely had to touch it so pretty so that is my favorite and the color that I used was the um, oh this was chaotic no the color I used was narcissistic was it narcissistic yep narcissistic how fitting I'm just kidding kind of so that's the color that I use I really love it like a rosy gold color and then um I'm not gonna lie this mood lip gloss I, I really like it so does this have a color on it oh it's called sensual so the so maybe it doesn't maybe it's not really a mood lip gloss maybe it's literally just maybe it just literally trying is that color when it comes out so whatever it is I like it it's the perfect color of lip gloss I'm actually probably going to take this and put it down in my purse because it's like not sticky but it's still thick it like it doesn't have like a weird smell like it smell when I first put it on let me see here like it has like a slight kind of smell to it like almost um not a super sweet fruity but just like a hint of a fruit to it and then like now I can't smell it at all so if you're a sensitive person and you don't like stuff that has a super strong smell you will like that because it doesn't if you like to smell that stuff all day long you probably should go buy some Victoria's Secret lip gloss because their shit is like you are not gonna that smell is gonna be on you forever <laughs> and it kind of has a nice little taste too so anyways other than that I hated this eyebrow pencil I'm not impressed with it I still see like this red tone on this eye probably gonna have to fix this later I don't know we'll see how I feel and the blush stick I'm not a blush stick person it's a pretty color it did its job I just don't know if every day I can put the blush on and then have to worry about like rubbing it in with my hand maybe I'm doing it wrong if you use a blush stick let me know like what is the benefit and how are you using it because maybe I'm just doing it wrong I will fully admit that because I don't usually use that the stay matte but not flat NYX foundation if you have dry skin this is probably not going to be for you but if you have super oily skin this might be the perfect product for you so I never say go off of one youtubers opinion when it comes to stuff because I feel like I could tell you I absolutely hate something my face is completely done or completely different than the next youtubers face so if I say I hate something don't take my word for it your skin might be different than mine and you might actually love it I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I hate it and then you can kinda make your decision from there but like don't make that your end-all be-all the mascara I don't I don't feel like it was thick enough one but some people like that and um, the fibers that it has on it I can still like feel like every once in a while like one's falling in my eye so I'm I'm I will probably never use this again because I don't I don't like stuff in my eye so um, the white eyeliner it looks like it's still on so far which is really good because those eyeliners don't last on me usually but I still feel like it's on like you could still see it 
So that's really good. I will go, I will say that that's a good thing too. So that's probably, that would be my fourth product. Uh, that's nice. The contour kit, I used the contour in it. The highlight that I would have used was out, so I can't even give you an opinion on that. But from what wiped off on my hand, it looked really pretty. I would not just go out and buy this unless you are the type of person that you're doing, like, you're going to use it for, like, some actual, like, beauty videos or you do makeup or anything like that. Other than that, just if you're the normal everyday person and you just need something for, um, you know, just your everyday makeup, this is probably going to be too much. Like, it just, um... It's just too big of a highlight contour palette, in my opinion. I don't know. You might like it. I have so much stuff on my makeup vanity just from, like, my fake first real videos and stuff that this is just, like, one more giant thing that I don't know if I'll, like, actually ever use. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this Get Ready With Me. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you're new to my channel, I hope you stay. And if you have not already, like, and scrub... God, every time I do this, every single time, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.